beautiful, beautiful singers. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia and I am a holistic vocal coach, which means I help people like you who loves to sing to transform their voices in your life along the way. And I'm also a professional crossover singer. And this one, again, I mean, how can I not say it's one of the most requested songs of Dimash. And he actually, Igor Krutoy, that wrote the song, I Miss You, for my Russian friends. I am so excited to hear Dimash perform this. Um, I, it's one of those songs that just can leave a dry eye in the room. I just know it. So I've prepared my Kleenex tissues. It's right here. But before we're going to dive in into that reaction, I really encourage you to subscribe and also like if you like this kind of videos. So whenever you suggest me your request of who should I react to next, you'll know when it's up. Okay. And also I would love for you to be part of our family, which is growing every single day. And I'm super excited to have you join us as well. And if you're singers guys, and you want to start 2021 in the right way, and you want to really know how to become a good singer, not just the, from the technique part, but also from the mental, all the limited beliefs, all the things that kind of stop you from singing. This is the time guys to go and click the first link in my description bar below. It's going to direct you to my website. You're going to insert your name in the email and I'll send you the three part video series into your inbox right away. And let me tell you, this is kind of life transforming. So it's free. There's nothing to lose. So go ahead, check it out. And yeah, let's start reacting. Музыка Игоря Крутого, слова Игоря Николаева. Я скучаю по тебе. На сцене песни года Игорь Крутой и Димаш. Wow, it's recently, huh? You can see the masks. На закатном берегу Место нашей встречи А над берегом кружит стая птиц Словно в первый раз Я стою сейчас Здесь на берегу Но знать не могу Редактор 
закатном берегу Место нашей встречи На закатном берегу Я скучаю по тебе Браво, Димаш, браво! First of all, it's so nice to hear him sing in Russian. I feel it's so understandable that that's his mother tongue language. He feels so comfortable singing in this language. It's just, his voice is just water in this song, right? It just flows out of him. He doesn't even sing it. It's almost, he speaks it all the way to the middle and that's it. And it's just so beautiful and sincere and effortless. And that's what I love about Dimash, you know? Uh, one thing about Dimash that he, it's not like he is, um, he's just kind of like the Joker. You never know what card is gonna pull out, right? <laughs> you never know how he's, what, what he's gonna do. Either he's gonna do his rock or he's gonna do his opera tune or like now, he actually did something that I completely didn't expect, which was kind of like that um, R&B almost kind of like a riff and, and run that I didn't expect from him and did it so well and it was more pop-ish that usually doesn't really go that way. And it's just, and, and I think I always get amazed how perfectly and seamlessly he transformed from this genre to that genre to this genre to all of that in one song. It's just like incredible, right? And I mean, his low voice is just superb. Right? It was almost like I had to look again to make sure that it's Dimash because it sounded like maybe Igor in the back in the piano, maybe sing a little bit of something. But it was just amazing, amazing to see. I mean, the song is so beautiful. I miss you. It's exactly what it is. It's about missing that special person that you know there's nothing you can do, right? It's gone. It's it's something that he yearns and he cries about and is voice really reflect that yearning, that cry, that frustration that he feels. And it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now let's talk about, cause you know, in our reactions, we're not just reacting, we're also learning, we're learning things. So let's talk about low notes. Cause we, over time we always hear about high notes, high notes, high notes, how to sing high notes. Cause kind of like most people find it hard to sing high notes. But let me tell you, low notes are also not that easy to sing too for a lot of singers. And for a lot of good sopranos that they have those beautiful high notes, most of them can't really sing low notes in a very healthy, sustainable way. And let me tell you, it's actually very interesting that the way you do high notes and the way you sing high notes, right, from a certain note, it's also how you're gonna do your low notes. And I always firm believer, it doesn't matter high, low, middle. I don't even think that way. My method, it's not about high or low notes and you address them differently. It's actually the same thing. Yes, you modify a little bit more in that place uh, in the higher notes or in the low notes, but it's always the same thing because as singers, we're not thinking, oh, now I'm singing A5, now I need to completely change my positioning, I need to do this, and it just doesn't work for most singers, right? We're not technical, we are emotional human beings, and we are singing a song, we want to feel the song and let our voice re reflect that. We're not gonna think, oh, now I need to do this, and it's too, it's not, it's t too technical, and it's just not realistic. But a good rule of thumb, actually, in low notes, it's projection, right? We don't wanna sink into the low notes. And a lot of singers do that, right? They wanna feel that chesty sound, that it's gonna vibrate in your chest and kinda be in that and feel that. Because for you, it sounds so big and huge, but for your audience, it actually sounds pretty spread out and not so focused. So it's actually, we wanna focus the sound. Same thing with the high notes. We don't want to go and reach to the high notes, right? And help the high notes get there and push the high notes. We actually want to direct them forward. Exactly, we want to project them forward. And that's the best way to do that, right? So instead of let's do 
Я тебя люблю, right? In the low notes. Instead of going in the low notes, I miss you or I love you, we're gonna, I love you. We're gonna pull, we kind of not, we're gonna project it out versus sinking into that low net sound. We want to kind of balance it by projecting it out a little bit more. So, that's kind of the rule of thumb. Of course, there's breath support and there's a lot of things that come into that. And if you want to learn more about it, I really go into that in my three video training series of how to unlock your best voice. I mean, it's free. Go ahead, try, try, check it out by clicking the first link in my description bar below. It's going to direct you to my website. You're going to set your name and your email and I'll send it to you right away free of charge so you can start exploring your sounds and low, middle, high, and really kind of take all those limited beliefs out of the window. But honestly, that was so beautiful to see. And it's like the most recent song that he put out there. And I mean, listen, Russia has, they, they value their culture. I love that. The fact they even have a concert during this time, that's pretty much amazing, right? That's awesome. And singing with the piano, with the full orchestra, and it's just a dream come true. And I know that Dimash prepares a lot of fun stuff for 2021. So I'm very, very, very excited. Maybe he's gonna come again to New York. Who's, who know? Let's see, right? But with that, guys, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't be shy. Go ahead, click the like, click the subscribe, join our growing family. And if you want me to react to one of your videos or one of your favorite singers' videos, go ahead and put them in the description bar below. And I love you guys. Stay well. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next year. <laughs>